Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Tech, and today we've got the Samsung Galaxy Grand 2 with us. So let's go ahead, unbox this and take a quick look inside. So before we do that on the box, we've got Samsung Galaxy Grand 2, 11 Indian languages, the Dios branding here, Grand 2 on the side, regular stuff on the sides of the box. And on the back, you've got a quick little list of specs. You've got HSPA Plus, Edge GPRS CPU is supposed to be Qualcomm Snapdragon 400, uh, 5.25 inch display, 8 megapixel rear camera, 1.9 megapixel front camera, 2600 milliamp hour battery. So the model number is SMG7102 for those wondering. Let's open this up. So that's the Galaxy Crown 2. So let's get to it in a moment. Inside we've got the quick start guide, uh, ear earbuds, micro USB cable, the battery, earphones, and uh, the travel adapter. So that's pretty much everything we've got in the box. So let's quickly put this aside and we'll get to the phone. So guys, here's the Galaxy Grand 2. On top you've got the earpiece, sensors, 1.9 megapixel front facing camera, Geos branding, Samsung branding, 5.25 inch uh, 720p display. This is not an AMOLED display. You've got the familiar uh, Samsung layout here, menu, uh, physical home and back keys. At the bottom you've got, okay, let me just take this off first. The back, we've got the fall leather pattern, similar to what we find on the Galaxy Note 3. So, okay, let's just take this off quick. The phone seems a little on the heavier side, even without the battery inside. This weighs in at 163 grams. The Note 3, for comparison's sake, weighs in at 168. That's with a 5.7 inch display. So, anyway. All right, uh, okay, let's get started on the placements. All right, 3.5 mm headphone jack, Qualcomm branding. Uh, okay, let me just get this off. All right, power button to the right. Okay, more things stuck on the phone. Great, that's off. Uh, at the bottom, primary microphone, micro USB port. To the left, volume rockers. Back, you've got your LED flash, 8 megapixel rear camera, the speaker, and Samsung branding. So that's about it for the placements. Let's open up the back. And inside, you've got your dual SIM slots. The micro SD can be stacked on top of your primary SIM slot. So let's quickly open the battery up, pop it in. So guys, to give you some perspective of the size of the phone, let me just put it side by side with the Note 3 and the Galaxy S4. So that's it. At 819 millimeters thickness, it is the thickest of all three. All right, so let's quickly turn this on. So anyway, we're up. So let's quickly run through setup. That's the Galaxy Grand 2. 720p display seems good. The Though it is an AMOLED, viewing angles seem pretty decent at first glance. Let me quickly... Right, let's... Okay, that's full brightness already. Going into settings. Let's see what it's, what it's currently running. That's Android 4.3. Jelly Bean. Not the latest, not, but not a lot of phones have 4.4. Anyway, it should be getting an update to Android 4.4, so that's the camera. Let me just quickly pull in something. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, camera seems faster. The shutter speed definitely feels faster than the original Grant. So going into modes, got beauty phase. Okay, quite a lot of modes have made their way through. It's pretty good. That's your friend camera. Hey guys. Going into settings. The video, it can shoot 1080p video at 30 frames per second. And you get your regular host of filters. No dual camera option here. So the magazine has also made its way over. So that's okay. The UI does feel pretty smooth and responsive. Like I mentioned, the Grand 2 has Snapdragon 400 underneath. That's four Cortex-A7 cores clocked at 1.2 GHz each, coupled with an Adreno 305 GPU and 1.5 gigs of RAM. So this is similar to the configuration of the Moto G, but the Moto G ships with 1 gig RAM on both though. And uh, it seems to be a thing here with Samsung that the Grand series doesn't really get vibration haptic feedback. I kind of feel that's something they shouldn't have left out. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's buried somewhere in the settings, but as far as you can compare with the Galaxy Note 3, you find it under key tap feedback, it's not available here. This is one of the things I really hated about the Galaxy Grand 1, the lack of haptic feedback, I'm pretty used to it. One of the main reasons why I just can't use a Windows Phone device. So anyway, enough about that. So quite a lot of features have made their way in though. Say for example, multi-window, blocking mode, it's all available. That's multi-window, seems a little jittery to open up. Not too smooth. Okay, haptic feedback actually works uh, outside of the keyboard because the phone just vibrated to my tap of picking it up and dropping it. Let me just open up the messages app. Let's see whether... Okay, there's no haptic feedback for the keyboard though. Weird. So let's see how the audio is. Okay, let's turn over to mute. Audio seems loud enough. So I guess that's pretty much it guys for this quick little unboxing and hands-on video. I'll go ahead play around with this phone for a bit and I'll come out with my full review. So make sure you stay subscribed for that. And if you did like this video, make sure you show it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, for the latest in tech, make sure you check out our partners over at OmegaDroid.co. So once again, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.